Today I'll show you how to get organized using TickTick, the task manager app. I'm going to go over things like how to create lists, how to put those lists into folders, and how to use tags to help organize your tasks. Hello, I'm Joshua Best. All right, to get started today, we're going to be looking at our inbox. So if you've been following some of the other videos, you probably uh, have a lot of tasks in your inbox. But today we're going to look at how can we organize those tasks. So put some uh, structure behind the tasks and better organize ourselves instead of having just one big long list. So today we're going to start by creating a list. I'm going to create a list called personal. And so now that I have a personal list, I can go back to my inbox and I can just drag some of my items from my inbox to my personal list. So walk the dog is a personal task. So I can just drag it over. I just click the left icon and drag it to the personal list. So take dog to the vet, that's also a personal item. Uh, go grocery shopping. Take the car for an oil change. Another way to move a task to a list is to actually click on the task itself to bring up the details. And down towards the bottom is the move to button. Right now it's listed as inbox because that's where the task currently resides. But if I click the icon, it brings up my list of lists. And since I have one list right here that's personal, I can click Add that task to the personal list. Um, publish YouTube video, that's going to be a personal task. Call my brother's personal. And these other YouTube tasks are also personal tasks. And call the cable company. So now I have all of my personal tasks out of my inbox and into my personal list. So that provides some structure. I'm going to create a second list and I'm going to call it work. Now I'm going to hit the save button. The rest of these tasks in the inbox are, are actually work tasks. And so I can do a mass um, movement. So if I click the top task and I hold the shift button, click the last task, it highlights all of those tasks in between. And it brings up this uh, menu of functionality over here on the right side, which I'll probably go over in a future video. But the one I'm interested in today is this move to again. So if I hit the inbox, it brings up my list of lists again. And in this case, I want work. So those are all work tasks enable only the work list. One other thing I want to highlight here is if I click on the work list, it brings up my list of work tasks. Um, but another way to add a task to a list is to actually add it directly. And so if I'm working in my work list and I know that I need to book an airline ticket, so I would say book an airline ticket for the conference, hit enter, it right away gets assigned to my work list because that's where I'm at. Okay, so that covers lists and that provides some organization for us, but perhaps we can do better. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to assign everything back to the inbox and I'm going to try and see if I can just organize my tasks uh, just with a little more detail and, and maybe a little bit better. So let me just highlight all of these tasks, assign them back to the inbox. And I'm going to go ahead and delete my list for now. So I'm going to kind of start from scratch. So delete my personal list, or my work list, delete my personal list. Okay, so now I have no lists again and I have all of my items back in my inbox. So this time when I create my list, I'm gonna go with a little, a little more granular. So um, I know I have a couple uh, YouTube tasks in my personal list, so I'm gonna create a list that's called YouTube. And I'm gonna give it a folder. So. I don't have any folders right now, that's why I'm seeing the none, but let me say plus new folder. So my folder is gonna be called personal. 
So I'm gonna create a new list called YouTube within my folder of personal and I'm gonna hit save. So now over here, instead of the list personal, I see a folder personal and I can drill down and I can see, well, I have a YouTube list. The other thing I noticed on my personal tasks is I have a lot of uh, pet tasks. So I'm gonna make another list called pets and I'll put that in my personal folder. Okay, and I have um, in my work tasks, I noticed I had quite a few tasks that were related to Project Titan. So I'm gonna create a list called Project Titan. And I'll create a new folder called work that Project Titan, the list will go under. So hit save. So now if I look over on my left side of my list, I see I have a work folder, which, creates, create, which contains the list Project Titan. And I have a personal folder, which contains my lists, pets and YouTube. So now let me go back to my inbox and assign some of these things to their new, more granular list. So YouTube, I'm gonna grab this YouTube task. Let's see, I got some YouTube tasks up here, drag them to my YouTube. Oop. Okay, buy fish food, that belongs in pets. Dog to the vet, goes to pets. Walk the dog, goes to pets. Okay, let's look at Project Titan. Uh, send my analysis of Project Titan to Steve, that goes to Project Titan list. Finalize the analysis, send an update. Okay, so that takes care of all of those items. Now, what about the items that are left over? Well, what I personally do is I create two more lists and I call them tasks. And it's kind of where I put my miscellaneous tasks at. So I'm gonna create a tasks for work And I'm gonna create a task for personal. And so if I go back to my inbox, I can assign these remaining tasks to my tasks list. So call the cable company, call my brother, take the car for an oil change, grocery shopping, those are all personal tasks. And I'm gonna highlight them all and I'm gonna just drag them to tasks. Okay, and these remaining work items, I will highlight them all and drag them to tasks there. So now, again, I have cleared out my inbox and I have a little bit better look at uh, everything I got going on. And you'll notice these numbers off to the side kind of help us identify what exactly is going on. So if I look just at the high level, I can see that uh, for my work folder, I have six tasks. For my personal folder, I have 10 tasks. And then I can drill in, right? So I can drill into my personal folder. I can see, well, I have kind of four miscellaneous tasks, three tasks for pets, uh, three tasks for YouTube. Um, the other cool thing that you can do is I can just click on the personal folder and it gives me a breakdown right here uh, by list, right? So I can see here's my tasks up here. Here's my pet tasks and here's my YouTube tasks. Okay, a few other things I wanna point out here is you can assign a color to a list. So if I right click on a list and I hit the edit button, I kind of get the same window as when I was creating it. And there is a color option. So I could assign colors to my lists if I want to. So I might assign the color uh, green to my personal list. Now all of, my, all of my personal lists are colored green and so if I'm ever clicking on them, I can see a green color down the left side and that helps identify uh, my personal tasks. Uh, for work, I might color those blue. So if I hit the edit button, I can choose the blue color. And so that just kind of helps identify. Um, the other thing I want to point out here is that you can actually move some of these folders around. So 
If you're like me, I like my lists in alphabetical order, so tasks coming first um, doesn't sit well with me. I'd rather have Project Titan first, and so I can just click and drag, and I can arrange these lists in whatever order I want. So if I want pets before tasks, so I got pets, tasks, YouTube. Now those are in the right order. So that kind of covers uh, setting up lists and setting up folders of lists. The last thing I want to cover today is tags. So tags is another way to kind of organize your tasks. And people use tags in different ways. So one way that people use tags is uh, by context. So I know if you're following David Allen's Getting Things Done, you, you use context and you might have a context of, let's say, phone. So whenever you're gonna do some phone work or work on your phone, um, you can assign those tasks that need a phone, you can assign that tag to those tasks. Another context might be a computer. And you can also see that there's a color here. So you can assign these different colors if you wanted to. So I've created two tags and I can go up to my personal tasks. And I know call the cable company requires a phone, so I would just click on my task. And I would come down here to the three dots. And I would say tags. And I would assign this one the phone tag. And so now when I look at my list of tasks, I can see, well, this one needs a phone. Uh, call my brother also needs a phone. So I'm going to assign the phone context tag to call my brother. Okay, I'm going to go down to my YouTube tasks. Um, these all require computer, except for film YouTube, but that also requires a uh, computer. So I'm just going to highlight them all the same way I did before. Again, I get this functionality over here on the right where I can do a lot of different things. I'm going to click the tags icon and I'm going to hit the computer tag. So now all those items are computer related. Uh, let me go up to my work. So Project Titan, send an update. Uh, that's going to require a computer because I'm going to send an email. So let me assign that the computer tag. Uh, final, in fact, all of these are going to require uh, the computer, so I'm just going to assign them all computer tag. And let me look through my miscellaneous tasks here. Um, both of these are going to require uh, a computer, so I'm going to assign the tag computer to, the, to those as well. So now one option I have is I can click on my tags down here on the left side and I can click on computer and I can see all the items that are related to computer. So if I come and sit down on my computer, I can click the computer tag and I can see, okay, well, I can do these work tasks or I can do these personal tasks. So depending on what I'm doing, but I know that I'm sitting at a computer and I can do any of these tasks. Also, if I picked up my phone, I could, I could click on my phone tag and I could say, well, I can call the cable company or I can call my brother. So another way that I personally use tags is not necessarily context, but I, I mainly use two tags and one is called waiting. And I use that for any tasks that I can't yet start. So I'm waiting on usually somebody. And so, let me come up here to tasks and maybe look at the timeline for Project Blue. Maybe I don't have the timeline yet. I'm waiting for someone to provide that timeline to me. So I might assign that task the tag of waiting. I'm waiting on that. And maybe, let's see here, buy fish food. Yeah, let's say I'm waiting to buy fish food as well. So I'm going to click on fish food and I'm assign that uh, the tag of waiting. I don't necessarily know what I'm waiting uh, for on that one, but uh, let's just say that I'm waiting for that one. Another tag that I use uh, personally, whenever I get an email and it becomes a task, I'll mail it in to TickTick, -tick, but I'll also assign that this tag has email. And that's going to be a green color, so I'm going to save that. So 
I know that if there is an email tied to that particular task, and, and usually that means that it requires a response to that email. So that's another way I use uh, tags. Now, if you use these different tags, you can see, well, we have has email and waiting. Those aren't necessarily contexts, but we also have computer and phone with our contexts. We might create a uh, parent tag. So in order to do that, um, let's see if we hit the plus button. And I can create a new tag called contexts. And I'm going to make it purple as well, since the other contexts are purple. And now if I come down to computer and hit right click and hit the edit button, I can assign parent tag contexts. Same with phone. So my phone tag now has a parent tag of context. And so that also kind of acts like a little bit of a folder, right? So I have kind of a grouping of tags under context, but I might also have other tags. And so that's just another way to organize your tasks. So that covers it for this video. We've covered um, creating lists and assigning your tasks to those lists. We've covered grouping those lists under a folder. We've covered creating tags um, and using those tags as either a context or not. And so those are a variety of ways that you can organize your tasks using TickTick. And that's all for this video. See you on the next video.